I'm excited about the possibility of potentially curing this, maybe for a few months, maybe for a few years, maybe indefinitely, but there's only one way to find out. A single shot to eliminate HIV seems too good to be true, right? Well, self-styled biohacker Tristan Roberts thinks it could be possible. Last month, live on Facebook, he injected himself with a gene called N6. He hopes it'll help his body produce an antibody that fights the virus that causes AIDS. But not everyone is on board. Why? Because it's untested and unregulated. Roberts is part of a growing community of biohackers. They believe they can get medical cures to the market faster and cheaper than others held back by regulations. But many in the medical community are outraged. They call Roberts' behavior delusional, risky and frightening. Let's speak now to the man himself. Tristan Roberts joins me now from Orlando, Florida. Tristan, thanks for taking the time you know, to, to come on the Newsmakers. You've injected yourself with genes. You haven't turned into a comic book villain yet, I don't think. Not quite yet. But tell me, tell me why you decided. I mean, this is a brave thing to do. Some people will think it's stupid, but it's, 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 a, it's undoubtedly a brave thing to do. Tell me why you've decided to do this against medical advice. I think we really can't wait for the established players who are making huge amounts of money from treating HIV to develop an actual cure for HIV. But are you suggesting that they don't want to? I'm sh I know many of the researchers are passionately trying to find the cure, but the amount of institutional, um, I guess, uh, resistance to change is there. Mm -hmm. It's very real. And uh, even if uh, we cannot get this cure, uh, it, it takes millions of dollars to test out a new mm -hmm. therapy, right? Mm -hmm. It takes around five years to test out a new therapy. And the reality is that, is that people are dying, you know, every day because of this illness. And some of it just because they can't access it, but some of it because they can't afford it, right? Right, right. So it, re it really just depends on the market. And this current therapy that I've been testing out, we're pretty sure that like, the, the cost to manufacturing it yeah. will be less than a dollar per dose. Yeah, just directly, has it worked at all? I mean, have you, have you done tests afterwards? Yeah, I've been getting tested regularly since the injection. I've seen that my CD4 count has risen, which is a uh, indicator that the virus is not being able to attack my CD4 cells, not being right. able to attack my immune system, which is encouraging. However, um, we might have to use multiple genes and multiple antibodies mm -hmm. and able to, in order to suppress the virus. Right. Now, I understand fully that you want to cure yourself. It's totally understood, right? I mean, this is it's deeply personal to you. There's a, I, I guess, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, there's a desperation to it, right? And an urgency, of course, right? You want to stay alive. You want to be healthy. But according to the best available science out there, ARVs are the best bet for now. They're not perfect. They're not going to cure HIV. They're going to give everybody an opportunity to live a, a better life and be healthy. That's the best available alternative for now until we can all figure this thing out. Why don't you accept that common consensus? To be clear, I've, I was on traditional medication for three or four years, and it was very successful. But the side effects are real. And more importantly, the, the costs are real. In the United States, this medicine is around $2,000 per month. And even if you can acquire the medicine, it's still supporting a system that I feel is inherently unjust. Mm -hmm. So the current system, the current medication, it is all right, but it is definitely, it, there's definitely room for improvement too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've been unmedicated for the past two years and my health has been fine. So I think I'm in a relatively good position to be able to test out something that's experimental. Right. I'm personally not, you know, in a state of desperation right now. Okay. Um, okay. 
when uh, when I started the medicine, my viral load was very low. My my immune system was very high. So I feel like I'm in a good position to be able to test out uh, new therapies that could benefit people who are in more dangerous, more desperate situations. Okay, so yeah, and, and maybe, you know, forgive me for suggesting desperation, but your stake in this is that you have HIV and you don't want to have HIV anymore, and you're willing to, I guess, take the risk. That's why you went on Facebook Live. That's why you injected yourself with, with gene therapy. Let me turn it a little bit to the issue of expertise here, right? And again, I don't mean this to offend you, but you're not uh, um, a genetic engineer, you're not, a, you're not a doctor, you're not a scientist of any sorts, right? Now, I could, I could see a space rocket that has a huge problem and a major fault in the engine, and I could be very frustrated that nobody's fixing it or they haven't identified the problem, but I would never think for one minute that I would have the slightest clue about fixing that engine, because I have no clue. This is, this is nothing to do with my domain of expertise. Aren't you going into this a bit blindly and naively because you don't have the kind of medical and scientific knowledge to back this up? I'm working with a team of biohackers who are skilled both through, you know, their own uh, learning and also through institutional learning. I'm just sort of the front man for the team who don't want to necessarily disclose uh, their identities yet until we have uh, sure success. And uh, to be fair, we do plan on having clinical trials. It's just a matter of we want to make sure that we have something that we're pretty sure is functional before we proceed with that. Mm -hmm. And we want to engage people in this dialogue from the start and be transparent about it. Do you see yourself as a, as a sort of pioneer with biohacking becoming the future? Yeah, that's really the, the greater issue here is, is not necessarily curing HIV, but really uh, we're at a point in humanity's history where we're no longer slaves to our genetics, right? Where we can change our, what is going on in our body at a very fundamental level. And the possibilities are beyond just curing diseases, but also enhancing humans in ways that it's hard for us to even imagine right now. And I, I think it's just crucial that we're doing this with transparency and accessibility rather than allowing mm. insurance companies and drug companies to sort of be pushing their own agenda. It's interesting that you talk about insurance companies and drug companies and big pharma and so on, because you clearly don't like them. I'm utterly mortified at the idea that some tyrannical nation state will have this power at some point in the future. That's not going to be nice. That's not going to enhance humanity, is it? It really, yeah, it's a matter of people being able to choose their own path, hmm. right? That's really what's important. Okay. Tristan Roberts, I wish you all the best. I wish you good health. And I thank you very much for joining us on the Newsmakers.